Hey YouTube, uh, I'm back. I, uh, I'm sorry about the, the wait. Uh, I've been working on school, personal projects, stuff like that, but I have a little bit of spare time right now, so I'm just going to do a tutorial for you guys. Um, last one got 10,000 views. I think I'm sitting at like 10,200. I wanted to release it like right before 10,000 or right at, but... I missed it and got a little busy, but I, uh, I'm i going to do it now. Better late than never, right? So, uh, yeah, I can't really think of anything else to say, but what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be teaching you guys how to hack a Wi-Fi network, like get the password so you can use it. Uh, this method is one I really like. It works really well. A lot of people use it. Uh, we're going to be using a good suite of tools called Aircrack. Uh, really, really good tools. I'll put some links in the description as to where you can download that or download it. It works on, it comes pre installed on Kali. You have to install it yourself in other distributions, but it's really, really easy. I don't know about Windows, folks, so uh, you might be out of luck. And if you don't have an external card, for, like a USB, network card it won't work in a VM so I just recommend like live booting Kali or installing Kali or installing like Ubuntu or something and you know uh, just installing the suite uh, that's all I can really think of saying so uh, let's go ahead and uh, start so we just want to go ahead and open up our terminal uh, on Ubuntu it's control alt T is the hotkey on Kali Linux. You can just click the uh, the little icon at the top. Alright, so first thing we want to do is type in sudo airmon ng and then this is just going to uh, check our driver information. You don't have to do this, I'm just doing this for you guys really quick. Ooh, okay, uh, I goofed up. Let me go ahead and oops. Stop! Stop it, please. Stop one zero. All right. So let me rerun that command. All right. So this is just showing us the interfaces that are running and the drivers we're using. Okay. Uh, so now we want to type in sudo airmon ng start wlan zero and just press enter and it's going to start a monitor interface. Let's see. And we're going to be using this throughout the tutorial. Okay, so now we want to type in sudo air dump dash ng and then the monitor interface, which is monitor zero. Oops. It's air o dump. I always make little mistakes like that. And you can see here we're uh, just getting gathering information on these networks. We're going to be using implement a Wi Fi password. It's a uh, one that I set up with an old router, not really a good router, that's why I don't use it anymore. But it works for this tutorial. So once we get this information, that's all we need. We just control C. <clears throat> Sorry, and then we're gonna type in sudo arrow dump oops arrow dump dash ng dash c. We're gonna get the channel, which is one. That's just the frequency that the uh, router's broadcasting at. We're going to get the MAC address. Make sure I get the right one. Right here. Copy and paste that in. Okay. And then now we want to type in dash W, and then we want to type in where we want to send some information to, and then we'll use this information later. So I'm just going to send it to home, mat, desktop, uh, I think that's all I really need. Oh, um, oops. Oh, forgot my interface. And then so after where you want to send it, you just type in your interface, monitor zero. And then now what it's going to start doing. <coughs> okay, actually, I'm going to show you guys a really a quick trick. So what a lot of people get is they get this fixed channel, monitor zero, negative one. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know what it means. I don't know what it what's causing it but I found out that this command fixes it so sudo ifconfig 
WLAN 0 down. I really don't honestly don't know what the command does, but it works. So and there we go, now it's gone. So what we're doing is we're going to wait we're waiting for somebody to connect to this uh, network. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go on my phone really quick. You guys don't need to see this cuz I'm just connecting to the to the network. Uh, I'm gonna just going to go ahead and press connect and there we go. We see that my phone has logged in and we have a WPA handshake right there, which is exactly what we need. So I'm going to go ahead and press control C. I'm not going to clear it because I need to copy and paste information. So what we're going to do now is we're going to run sudo airplay dash ng dash zero, which means deauthentication. We're going to send five deauthentication packets dash a. We're going to grab the router's MAC address, copy and paste that in. We're going to grab the WPA handshake after a tick C or a uh, hyphen C, dash C, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to do monitor zero. Oh, yeah, I forgot one thing. And dash E. And then we're just going to put in the ESSID, which is the uh, text for the. Uh, the, 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 just the network name and we're just going to press enter and as you can see we're sending these deauthentication packets and what this does is it forces the client my phone to reconnect to the network and I send about four or five you know depending on each you know every time each network and everything's a little different but you want to you know do a good amount just so you can make sure you get it all right so uh, here's our last and here's our final step. So we're going to type in sudo aircrack dash ng uh, dash a2 dash b and then the router's MAC address. Let's copy and paste. Hotkey to uh, paste in is control shift v. I should have probably said that earlier, but whatever. Um, now remember the where we sent some information to, which is my desktop. We're gonna go ahead and <clears throat> do slash home slash mat slash desktop slash asterisk dot cap, and this is just gonna use all the capture files that we uh, used. Ooh, wait, oh, I did that wrong. I did that wrong. This is gonna be slash root slash passwords dot txt and this one's going to be you're just, it's just going to be separated by a space I goofed up uh, slash home slash mat slash desktop slash asterisk dot cap what this is going to do is it's going to attempt to crack the encrypted uh, WPA um, uh, password the key that we stole from this handshake that we saw or however you want to explain it uh, we're just gonna go ahead and press enter and look at that what do you know we found the key password one so let's go ahead and try to connect to this network hopefully it asks for the password it may not but and you have to have this was stored in the uh, the the dictionary file so if you can get like a big file like one that's like I don't know 15 gigabytes from like crack station or something and that passwords in it it may take a while but uh, yeah that this will you know this is you'll get the password eventually hopefully uh, I uh, I can't really think of anything else to say that's a uh, pretty quick demonstration on how to crack a uh, WPA password. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Ask me questions. Uh, if you're doing something wrong, I'll answer. I don't know if you guys saw my last tutorial. I'm pretty good about answering questions the best I can. Um, you know, uh, I got a lot of good feedback on the last video. I got a lot of views. Um, but that's really it. I'll, uh, I'll see you guys later.